Come on, Tiny. Up. Up. Good boy. So it is such a pretty day. I'm so glad you got to come along with me. Uh, the beach is beautiful. It's a little bit muddy. I didn't really think about that beforehand and now Winston's feet are like covered in mud. So uh, he's gonna get back in my car and uh, yeah, I didn't think about that very much. But it is such a great day and I figured we would go over things you might want to consider before getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It's a little bit loud and windy so we're gonna go back to the house and break it down from there. You're free. Ooh. So the first thing that you should consider when you're gonna get a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is the price. Now Google says that the price should be anywhere between $1,500 and $3,500, but in my experience, the puppies that I find online or in the stores can be anywhere from between $2,000 and $6,000. I would recommend that you don't get a dog from a large puppy store, you don't know where the puppy's coming from, and they do increase the price a lot. One of the puppy stores at my local city here, the dogs were like $5,600, so that's insane. And uh, I don't think you should pay that much, and I think you should go to a reputable breeder somewhere near you, even if you have to travel, to get a dog that you know is well cared for, as well as reasonably priced. Some of the features that the dogs will have will increase the price or lower it. For example, with a Blenheim Cavalier, they have a feature called the Queen's Kiss, which is like a brown spot right in the center of their forehead. That causes the dog to be a little more valuable and then toy breeds are more expensive than a uh, full-size Cavalier, which sometimes Cavaliers can get to 20, 30, even 50 pounds. Um, my dogs are toy size. Winston's 15 pounds, he's full grown. Daisy's like 10 pounds and she's getting close to like nine months old, 10 months old. So you wanna think about the different kinds of dogs you can get. So some are smaller, some are larger. You wanna make sure you research that before you get the dog and that will go into the price that you're gonna pay for it. Now, despite there being a high price for these dogs, if you're gonna get a purebred, I can completely recommend that it's definitely worth it that you get a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They're extremely sweet and have a whole bunch of videos on why you should get one. They're just the greatest dogs in my opinion. So don't worry about the price. If you wanna get a good buddy, if you wanna get a best friend, just don't even think about it. Just get the one you want. If you can afford it, don't go and get in debt and try to get the dog. But if you can afford it, if you can have one, then I think you should. It's completely worth every penny. So another thing that you should consider before getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that they do have some tendencies toward some health issues. So these health issues include a heart disease that they're prone to, and the statistics are that about 50% of Cavaliers have a heart disease before or by five years old, and then at 90% uh, have the heart disease by the time they're 10 years old. So they can have a long healthy life, but they are prone to heart disease. And there are some things that you can do to help this and to kind of negate the risk. And that would be having them on a whole grain diet. A lot of the dog foods that are out these days are grain free. And that's something that the Cavalier does benefit from. So things like oatmeal and rice, they like the grains. It's good for their heart and it can promote a healthy heart for the dog that's prone to heart problems. So if you're shopping for your Cavalier and you don't currently use food source that has grains in it, I strongly recommend that you get a dog food that has grains in it. I use one called Merrick and they have a line called Ancient Grains and all their food, there's like turkey, chicken, steak, but they all have this Ancient Grains. It's very heart healthy and I think that you should make sure that you're feeding your Cavaliers a heart healthy diet. Another issue that Cavaliers can have is something with their spinal cord and their brain. The Cavaliers actually have a larger brain than the size of dog that they are. So they've been kind of bred down to be smaller, but they are a very smart dog. So they have uh, some issues or can have some issues later in life with their like fluid in their brain and in their spinal cord. So it's not extremely common, but it's also something that they do have a tendency towards or can develop. So you wanna make sure that you're regularly getting your dog checked up at the vet to avoid any surprises later on. And the last health problem that they can have or develop is hip dysplasia. And uh, it's, it's pretty common with Cavaliers. It's where their back legs or their, or their front legs, they, their hip joints kind of dislocate or they're just separate from their hip socket um, and it can cause problems. So uh, I noticed that Winston and Daisy both, they lay on the floor with their legs like flat out behind them. And I mean, I've always thought it's super cute, but as I look more into it, 
you want to make sure that your dog has some healthy hips and shows that it's you know not suffering from it now my dogs aren't suffering from anything but later in life it can cause some forms of like arthritis and discomfort and so it can actually be kind of crippling for them if they develop it without you noticing and it gets really bad so just like I said make sure you keep your dogs regularly checked at the vet so that you can be sure that your dog is healthy and if anything does start to develop you can make sure you're on top of it sooner than later before we go any further in today's video I just want to say thank you to our sponsor trickstars.com it's where you can get these awesome t-shirts they're hand painted by me and put on the website so I've got jackets like hoodies, I've got t-shirts and v-necks, there's tank tops for ladies and women's v-necks, there are phone cases and full-size prints that come with a very nice frame. So go on to trickstars.com, take a look at some of the artwork, some of the shirts that are available. They're absolutely incredible and I'm just so glad to share them with you. So again, it's trickstars.com that's the sponsor of today's video. So go check out trickstars.com. All the links for everything is in the description. So check that out. I really appreciate you guys and let's get back into it. So the third point that you should consider when you're going to get a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that they require a lot of attention. Now some dogs can be left alone and some dogs need more attention maybe, but with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, they're really pretty high up there in the demanding list. They can develop separation anxiety, so when you're gone, they cry, they scratch, they bite um, the door or whatever. I, I have honestly a couple doors here that are tore up because they just get so sad if I leave. So you should consider that if you have a home where there's not gonna be anyone for long periods of time, it may not be the dog for you, but if you're gonna have lots of kids and family and other animals, that's great. They love socializing, they love playing with others. So that's a great asset that the Cavalier does have is that they're really affectionate. So they have a, a cost of high attention, but they reward with high affection. So it's really important that you spend lots of time with your dog and you're not gonna just leave them for long periods of time. It's not a loner. It's very much a lap dog, very much a companion animal. So they really wanna be near humans. I, I say that they like animals, they like kids, um, and they really wanna be with their owner. So if you're gonna get one, you're gonna develop a strong bond with them and you need to be able to spend the time with them that they require because they really need it and they're gonna reward you heavily with lots and lots of affection. Yeah, you both of you, huh? Both of you, huh? This is ridiculous. I can't do anything. You guys want to see the dogs anyway, so, I mean, here they are. Ah, you're gonna make me sneeze. Yeah, you're so cute. You need baths. You need baths, I know. You need baths. Ah, that brings us to our fourth point. Grooming is important, and uh, the Cavaliers require it pretty frequently. They don't shed a ton, you know. I have uh, one of those Roombas, so it just kind of picks it all up. I don't really see it too much, but uh, they do require grooming. They will develop dreadlocks in their ears, specifically, so brushing them often, getting them groomed, bathing them often. These things are uh, pretty much a must with the Cavalier Spaniel, so you might want to make sure that you're ready for a dog that needs to be brushed, needs to be washed pretty often. It's not a short-haired dog. It's not a hypoallergenic dog. They do shed, and uh, they require some attention. Look at these big ears. I mean, it's big, they're long. Winston's got like chunky ears because every now and then he gets dreads and I have to cut them out and so it like resets a large patch of fur. And I, you know, I try and brush him enough, but I, I don't. And so that's why I'm telling you, uh, they require a lot of grooming. And the fourth thing that I think you should consider before getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that they have a very unique energy level. Uh, it's relatively low. So as a puppy, obviously they're running around, biting and jumping and they have lots of energy as, uh, as puppies, but as they get older, they get very chilled out. So they don't require like extremely long walks. Honestly, they, they don't really want to do that. Playtime is plenty of enough exercise for them. So, you know, throwing the ball in the backyard or playing tug of war for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, the dogs are gonna get worn out and they spend a lot of their day sleeping. Like, I don't know who got more tired in our little intro B-roll. We were just running around and uh, made a lot of friends at the park, but you know, I'm, I'm tired, he's tired. So we kind of match with our energy levels. Um, don't step on my computer, buddy. He's just wandering across the computer. No, just walk on the keyboard. I don't know if I was working on anything. Ah, so many dogs. But yeah, they're, uh, they're really chill. So if you're looking for a dog that's like super hyper or runs and jumps and does all this crazy stuff, uh, it might not be the dog for you. But um, if you're looking for a chill lap dog that's extremely affectionate and okay to sit and watch movies with you all day or sleep in bed, then uh, Cavalier Spaniel is probably perfect for you. Honestly, they're, uh, they're awesome. They don't require a whole lot of uh, 
energy, you know, release. You don't have to go on long walks and, you know, let them jump through hoops. They're pretty content just like th this. This is what they want to do. They want to sit right here. Give me that. All right, guys. So uh, again, just a quick video for you. So glad you're watching it. I'm so glad that you enjoy it. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out trickstars.com. All the links are in the description. If you like this video, if you like Cavalier Spaniels, if you like dogs at all, if you like artwork, animals, adventure, that's all that I do. Go ahead, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Let me know with a comment down below what you wanna see. You wanna see something about Cavaliers? You wanna see something about my art or some of my trips or what I do for work? If you wanna see anything like that, just let me know and I'll make a video for you, like pretty small channel. So you let me know a request and I'll pretty much make it right away. I appreciate you so much for watching. We're like about to hit 500 subscribers. That's like insane to me. And uh, it's all because of you guys. So I'm here, I'm working, I'm trying to make content for you and I just love doing it. I'm really passionate about it. So thanks for watching. And uh, Winston, Daisy and I will see you in the next video. Peace.